Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Nova with the Imagine USA Academy team, and today I'm going to be unboxing and demonstrating Medit's latest intraoral scanner, the i900. When first looking, I noticed that there's only one single box. As many of you know who purchased the Medit scanner in the past, it used to come with two separate boxes, one for the scanner and one for the accessories. So let's get right on into it and see what we have inside. So at the very top, the first thing we're gonna have is our user manual. This is gonna have a lot of specific detailed information on the actual scanner itself. And below that, we're going to have an actual quick start guide with some really nice diagrams to basically help you get started with the initial setup. Below that, we have our actual intraoral scanner, the i900. This scanner has been significantly reduced in both weight and size compared to other models, coming in at about 165 grams and 35 millimeters in width. It also has a unibody and symmetrical design, essentially meaning that it is made of one solid piece with no joints. This makes it a lot easier for the cleaning and maintenance of the device. Next, we have our desktop cradle. This cradle has also been made much lighter compared to the previous versions and allows the user to actually rest the scanner in a horizontal position when not being used. Next, we have our package of intraoral scanning tips. Within this package, you're going to have four total tips, two medium and two larges. With the larger size, you are now getting a bigger scan head and thus you're getting a larger field of view during the scanning process. Although these tips are non-reversible compared to the older models, Medit has claimed that they can be autoclaved up to 150 times. After that, we have two different power delivery cables. These are a USB-C to USB-C connection. The Medit scanner is a single connection scanner, essentially meaning that there is only one wire going directly from the scanner to the computer. Meta has also ensured the durability of these cables has improved, so there's much less need to replace them. Moving on, we have our actual calibration tool. This tool is much similar to previous versions that Meta has come out with, but is actually not interchangeable. It only works with the i900 model. The calibration is usually meant to be done every three months, which although is not calibration free, it is much less frequent compared to other models and scanners. Lastly, we have our wall mount and a pair of screws. This is exactly what it sounds like. The purpose is in order to be able to take your scanner, mount it on the wall in the vertical position for the user to be able to use. And that's pretty much everything we have in the box. As you can see, Medit has very much simplified their packaging and design, which I think is a great idea. Okay, now that we've completed the full unboxing and review of all the components for the scanner, I wanna demonstrate how to do your first setup and calibration for the i900. The first thing that we wanna do is make sure that we have our Medit link and our Medit scan for clinic software installed on our workstation. Remember that the Medit software is compatible with both Mac and PC computers. Once the software is installed, we are ready to actually connect our scanner. For this, we're going to need the actual i900. We're going to need one of the power delivery cables provided, an intraoral scanning tip, and our calibration tool. As mentioned before, the Medit scanner is a single connection scanner. So all we would have to do is take one end of our power delivery cable, plug that directly into the PC, take the other end and plug that into the bottom of the scanner. Upon initially plugging it in, you will notice a pair of LED lights on the bottom of the scanner flash green, indicating that power is being delivered to the scanner. However, it's important to note that whenever you have the cap on the actual scanner, it will remain in standby mode until it is removed and the scanning tip is placed on the scanner. Here, you'll feel a slight vibration and you'll notice the green LEDs remain a solid green color letting you know the scanner is ready for use. Now we're ready to actually start our calibration process for the scanner. We're gonna do this by first selecting the calibration app icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Upon selecting the app, the scanner will go through an initial connection period followed by a set of prompts for the user to follow. In these prompts, it'll instruct you to first remove the cap from your calibration tool 
and make sure that it is perfectly aligned. You want the circle and the play button to be perfect alignment with no gap in between the two shapes. Once you remove the cap, you want to go ahead and remove the scanner tip from the scanner and orient your scanner into the calibration tool until you hear a clicking sound. Once the scanner is in place into the tool, you can go ahead and select next. From here, the scanner is going to acquire its first set of data. There's going to be a total of nine calibration steps throughout this process where you should actually be able to see the calibration tool begin to elongate as you go through that process. Once you have gone through all nine calibration steps, you should see a green check mark come up indicating that your calibration has, has been passed. From here, you can remove your calibration tool from the scanner, place your cat back on the tool, and place your scanner tip back on your scanner. Now that the calibration is complete, you are all ready to start scanning. Thank you for watching our video and stay tuned for more Imagine Academy content coming up soon.